to the Five Nations. So this this nations didn't one thing that that put the nations in the Civil War was the American Revolution. Look, you fucking moron! You're not listening if you're fucking talking and you're yapping away. Did you hear I'm what not, I said about I'm the fucking word democracy? Somebody who doesn't have any native history and doesn't understand native history. I don't how need it. fucking native. Fucking we, everyone has native fucking history. We're all okay. fucking human beings. Yeah. You just said that my brother and my family came from a prestigious white school. What? And I know this and I know that. And I'm telling you that my aunt came from a Ivy League school who was a native professor who taught me this. And you're basically saying that she's wrong. I, I conceded your point, okay? That the, they recognize that there was an influence, okay? But that's not the point of contention here, okay? Mm -hmm. You were fucking, you were trying to dispute whether or not it fucking traces back to Greece. No, I didn't say that. Okay. I think I know Fuck David. That. I think I know what David is saying. David is saying that the Native Americans did find democracy because the Athenians, like every other great uh, city in history, were actually Native Americans. We was Kangs. Well, here's the thing. Here's what I'm saying. Is that you said that the American, the Canadian Constitution is very much like the American Constitution. And then, do you know the Iroquois were also in Canada? They're also in Canada. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. You're not really fucking here. Are you kidding me? And I'm telling you that one reason why the Canadian Constitution is much like the American Constitution is because of the Iroquois Confederacy. Oh, uh, no. And you're trying to say none of that's true. And you're trying to negate American history. And you're trying to say that Native Americans had nothing to do with the conceptualization of how politically, uh, how the political infrastructure. No. Is. No. How many times do I. The white no, I, I, dude, shut up. I did, I said that. Yeah. I did not say that. I didn't say that there was no influence. I, like, okay. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Okay. You, you, the word influence. Okay, you know you've got the 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 meat. Okay, the the body. Okay, the pre-existing body. Okay, now an influence is you know a small you know uh, manipulation or you know like that. Okay, like you know uh, an insertion. Okay, into a pre-existing fucking concentrated body that's already there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and that 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 pre-existing. Uh, you know the constructs and all the like, like what you're saying. You say it goes, it goes way the fuck back, okay? And and in Europe to Rome to fucking Greece. Okay, so the longest living democracy in the world is the Iroquois democracy, and the colonies, mm -hmm. the original thirteen colonies, which predates anything from Canada, <laughs> was derived from. Iroquois democracy and how the Iroquois set up their nations because these people like Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson were like these Indians have it set up pretty good we should we should look at what they're doing and talk and consult with them and that happened um <clears throat> look you know there's 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 big imbalance Okay, for the development of uh, you know, like language and is, technology. You're having a hard time digesting what I'm saying. It's because of your white supremacy the, and your indoctrination. Dude, are you telling me the fucking Iroquois in in fucking eleven hundred were casting goddamn ballots? Yes. <laughs> um. Uh. Yes, and you know who else? You know who had the right to vote? Women. Uh huh. The women were the ones that set this system up. <coughs> Did they let the medicine? No, I don't know. Too. Do, you know how know. They, do you know how they cast these ballots? <coughs> okay, that was too yeah, they didn't, You didn't even have fucking, like, paper. What do you mean? We had beads. What are you talking about? We yeah, I know. You have beads. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, you can hear your white supremacy coming out. No, my <laughs> white supremacy. They, they, they didn't they even have paper. paper. David, <laughs> David, David, are, you are you for real? Like you can hear how you believe that white the white man was better and that the natives had nothing to do with it and that we didn't have any kind of advancements at all and that we're just the primitive nation. Well, you had basic metallurgy, which developed in fucking Europe, uh, you know, only a couple thousand years previous to that. 
Yeah, well, it, it was in the the United States. It was in First Nations. It was yeah. in China. Well, they were they were making fucking pots. You know, they were fucking molding clay and shit. Okay, meanwhile in Europe, what's going on? Well, they're That's building true. fucking cars. Okay, let me fucking hold on, hold on. This so is totally. You guys, like, you guys, you guys making you guys fucking natives making Stop. fucking corn pipes. <laughs> here's, here's, another, here's another here's another the daily piece all the Iroquois chiefs helped write the u.s constitution do you want me to read this one see like you can sit there and say that native people were primitive and that didn't have any technology they didn't yeah. have the wheel this is yes. what you want to see yes relative relative to the development of uh europe is <laughs> it's laughable that you could argue anything otherwise are you okay, fucking okay, let me ask you this um when possibly honest dude dude galileo <laughs> galileo I, improved I, the fucking telescope i asked you a question you know who de Leon is? what Ponce de Leon? Ponce. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, I'm familiar with the name. Okay, he uh, was a Spanish explorer. Uh huh. He was, he was uh, exploring Florida. You know what he was looking for? Whoa! Never heard of that before. Do you know who he was looking for? He was he's looking for a person? He was looking for something. Fountain of youth. What he was looking for? Fountain of youth. He was looking for the Fountain of Youth. Exactly. Well, the Fountain of Youth, yeah, yeah. Think about this. Do you know why he was looking for the Fountain of Youth? Uh, because someone said something to him. He his wife had sagging titties. He noticed the appearance of the natives. Oh, his, his wife's tits were sagging. And his, the natives were so youthful and so beautiful that he thought that he had come close to this magical fountain. And I want to tell you two things from this. Yeah. The European idea of science and fairy tales. Yeah. And how they have it differentiated between the two. How they still were magically thinking. How they really you know, have who this. taught you this? Did you learn this from Hold the on. great spirit? Hold on, and I want to tell you this. I'll tell you something else. Is that the reasons why the Native Americans had such a beautiful appearance is because they had things like pharmaceuticals. They had an advanced knowledge of the element that affected what? the brain, that affected um, the heart, they were using tiny syringes to put medication into the blood vessels. They were the first people to develop uh, menstrual, things that affected the menstrual cycle, like um, birth control. Native Americans developed birth control. Yeah. Native Americans were That's far more, far more, far more, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, to diminish. Hold on a second. Native Americans were far more pharmacologically advanced than Europe could ever imagine. And when they saw this, they were like, there must be some kind of magical fountain of youth that saves us because we understand the science behind what the Native Americans are doing. Oh, the fucking, all that pharmacy, yeah, but all that pharmacology didn't do a whole hell of a lot to fucking stop the outbreak of smallpox, now did it? Well, that's because, that's because, um, here's exactly what happened. That's another thing that was came in, and then, yeah, and then, so the, much then the name, the name, the name, the name like, saw them, they were like, I, some Ritalin man. Like, like, viruses mm -hmm. mutate. When you have a virus that's introduced into a new area, it can exist outside the environment, find another virus or another bacteria, have sex because it's a living organism, and a mutate, and I have a child, and uh, that child, um, that child. Do you understand? Do you, do, you, do you know what mitosis is? Okay, you, you know that there's not all organisms are sexually reproducing, right? Uneducated. Do you know what cell mitosis is? Listen, okay, dude, 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 no idea. I'm sorry. You, you just talked about viruses fucking having sex. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do in new environments. That's what happened. This is what wiped out the name. Oh, okay. So, David, the thing is, uh, the natives were far advanced nation than Europeans were when Europeans were savages. That was thousand years ago, when thousands of years ago, when they were making pyramids. Yeah, I'll and, tell you. and the car, the people that were invaded. Yeah. Did not have the civil that civilization at the time yeah. they were invaded. 
Yes, it, it wasn't the natives. It wasn't the native natives sailing across the Atlantic to Europe. Now was it? Yes, they were the natives. Oh, <laughs> yes, they were. Fuck off. They were being brought back as fucking fucking zoo exhibits. Right, yeah. But I think that there were some some uh, physiological. They, they understood some things that European didn't and made fun of them. But uh, then they found out that actually natives were right. Native uh, Americans. So that. So this American, European technology did not surpass. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to denigrate. Oh, no, no, Stop. Let me talk. Because Let me talk. Obviously, are indoctrinated through white supremacy, dude. Look, I'm not trying to fucking denigrate you, okay? But it is a fucking. I'm to listen either. to me. I'm speaking. You need to know. Listen. That, that listen. I am. Hold on a second. Shut the fuck up. Listen, listen, I'm speaking. European technology. Did not surpass Native American. It is a technology. historic fact. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But listen. For, it is, for fuck's sake. Listen. listen. Right, now I see why people shit on you, man. Listen. Okay. I'm gonna talk. Listen. There's there's two you, things. You don't give a fuck that you get shit on. Seriously. Because I stand up for what I believe in, and I acknowledge a white supremacy. Yeah, well, there's a difference between fucking belief and knowledge, sir. Hello. Okay. Yeah. It's the thing okay. is. There's, there's a difference between the horror, man. Fiction. A white supremacist can go a long way at the university without realizing. You know, what's, listen, if you think belief is so fucking important, okay, I would encourage you to walk to the top of the nearest skyscraper, jump off, and the whole goddamn way down, believe there's no I, I, I fucking understand. gravity, okay? Plato's okay. allegory. Okay. okay, we'll see. You know, test. Let's test the value of your faith. Listen, okay. So you have just two things to where you can say that European technology. Okay, so you hate the white supremacist point of view. What about the native supremacist point of view, where you shit on everyone else? Hey, listen. There's like two, immigrants and other people from other parts of the world. There's like, two, you like, no, you go out and talk about the white supremacy when you are. Such a big, like I don't know what to call. Like uh, you have your head, up your head up your ass that you're so arrogant about, and you are almost I'm hundred percent sure, certain mm -hmm. that you are faking your Native American ancestry. You are not as Native American as you're trying to be. Like you, yeah. your mom is not hundred percent Mohawk. I can certainly, maybe, maybe. I can bet on that that your mom is not hundred percent Mohawk. He She's did not seem keen on genetic testing. Okay, so the thing that's, is that's yeah, incontrovertible. That's physical science anymore. And I, I never said my mom was hundred percent native, but she's definitely. Uh, you said yeah. she was Mohawk, and fair enough. Yeah, you didn't yeah. say hundred percent. We, we follow matrilineal systems, not patriarchal ones. So we gave an article lie of omission. You implied okay, that yeah, she yeah. was. Send send oh. your DNA in. Oh, send, no, 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 no. Take part in the project, man. Hey, like um. You'll find out. You you will know. That's the thing. People tell history. you about you. Okay. Two things in history that you could say where Europeans finally surpassed Native American technology. You can take it to the bank, and I'll bet you anything. You have far more European fucking heritage than Native. No. I'll bet you. I think I see this David. He's yeah. like bald. He is Caribbean. He's bald and hairy. And so no, I don't think so. I'll bet you, 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 well, you know, Puerto Rican, if you're your father, Puerto I mean, Rican, well, that doesn't say Americans do you see that are bald and hairy. Like, I just want to say this. <laughs> First thing I'll say, and then I'll leave. He's, fucking Hispanic. He's probably fucking Mexican. He's Here's a fucking Mexican. Here, what's the difference between Mexican? What does it matter if I'm Mexican uh, or not? That's fine. I, I, I don't, I can get fucking, I, I can care less if you're the fucking Queen yeah. of Kathmandu. Mexicans are also Native Americans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's lots of native tribes. You know, there's like over thirty thousand different native yeah. languages spoken. Oh, same to me. I know. We're all human, dude. We all fucking hey. we all bleed. We all fucking sweat. We all fucking cry. Well, they all came from Asia. They all came from parts of Asia. Some of us belong here, and some of us don't. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the thing is, is that DNA, Siberian, and Asian. To think that they belong here and they don't. And one reason, one reason to convince the world that they belong here, is to change history and to leave certain things out. Like I find it really hard to believe that someone can advance high enough in education and not know these basic concepts about native history. You are going to be absolutely fucking shocked, okay, to learn the concentration of the R1A haplogroup, 
okay, that is found in, in genetic testing among the native people in the Great Lakes region. You're going to be fucking shocked. Our okay. the most prominent country group in Pakistan, and it yes. comes from Eastern yes. Europe. Yeah. And it, it is also yes. second most prevalent in Mexicans and other Native Americans. Like you know, you're gonna be the, fucking the, shocked. You're and the number one comes from shocked. Siberia, by the way. How 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 about that? Genetics don't lie. All right. I mean, doesn't. I don't have genetic I'd be interested in taking one. Nice grammar, Bronzy. Genes don't lie in genetics. Don't lie. All right, listen, listen to listen to Bron you know, Bronzy, you hillbilly. <laughs> I think this David guy looks a, looks a bit like Christian hillbilly, by the way. Yeah. He looks like a, a and like an Asian because, but only because he's Down syndrome and they're like Mongolian looking. Mm, things get really funky in the Ozarks. <laughs> I, I'm just curious how I went from just asking about Canadian Constitution to this bullshit. <laughs> you know, I'll ask you a good point. And, to hang out. And, and I'll tell you how it happened. White supremacy. That's how it happened. Oh, uh -huh. my God. I, I'm going to post something that is so true about David in the back. Do the mean? So basically, I started talking about the advancements of Native America and how it influenced American. North American uh, politics and a white supremacist said that's not true. Well, I had to put him in place. I didn't say it wasn't true. But my perspective was <laughs> yeah, but you don't you don't get the, your perspective does not overrule. Okay, it you know, came from the Magna Carta. No, it, nobody can explain the author's intent. Okay, but the author. Okay, nobody. You know, the person responsible for what they mean with what they say uh, is is the person who says it. Okay, uh, you you do not get to determine your interpretation of what I say as the fucking authority on what I'm what I'm saying. The problem we have in this country is we have people in this world is that we have people in power who lack knowledge and education. And this is a perfect example of it right here. We have people in power like Trump, who have no idea about American history, who have no idea about other cultures, who have no idea about uh, how other countries run yeah. the politics and the economy. Oh, yeah. No education. Yeah. And motherfucker who comes up and says, well, I'm that's not going to change, dude. You have no, and you have no education about any of these things. And just basically, I, mean, I, do, I fucking do. You know, not maybe not like you, which is which is fine, okay. But uh, you know, I'm always willing to learn and listen and stuff, okay. But you know, if if uh, you know things go against what I already know and understand, but the thing is, is that like you, the way the, what you know and understand is from the building blocks of white supremacy, and white you don't accept supremacy. that, you don't see that. So Dude, I am. I'm. I'm. Ex I consider myself okay. Before I'm a Canadian, I'm a human being. I'm a citizen of the world. Uh, when people ask, okay, you know, C Canadians are notoriously not nationalistic. Yes, they are. <laughs> right. I'm in Canada. I'm. I'm. I am so far and, from being a nationalist. It's okay. ridiculous. Okay. Right? But here's the thing. The thing. The thing is, is that you're still educated and a Eurocentric from a Eurocentric perspective. Dude, I'm fucking, I'm capable of making my own determinations, okay? The majority of my education comes from the goddamn library, not the okay. school. Are you Christian? No, oh. I'm an atheist. Okay, so were your parents Christians? No. Okay, so the thing is, is that what you have to understand is, is that even the books that you read at the library were written, a lot of them. Right, you, listen, listen to how you're talking to me. What I need to understand, as if I don't. Okay, are you fucking kidding me? That's that's fucking insulting. It's denigrating. Welcome to the real world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy is. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, saying that, like, I'm saying that, like, your absence of I'm not understanding about. Let me just say this. I really, want you, I really want you to think about this. What are you telling me that I don't understand? <laughs> right here. This is what I want you to understand right here. Where's the point? That European technology uh -huh. did not surpass 
Native American technology. You, sir, are a fucking wing nut. You have oh, no, your fucking mind. I want you to think about fucking education. You said, you, said you, education. And you were willing to listen. Right? Yeah, I was willing to listen, and I'm glad okay. that I did because it was fucking amusing. I got a great okay. laugh out of it. It's Native American absurd, and and it's you, you, you sir, apparently sir. aren't even aware of how badly you just insulted yourself. Listen, I, listen. I personally technology did not surpass native technology in two <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, yeah, dude? Say it again. No, this is it gets better every time. No, Say you know. Uh, I want to understand what I'm trying to say. European <laughs> technology, right? Yeah. Did not surpass. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? No, I I know that you're just just absolutely absurd. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why what I'm saying is absurd. I don't understand. <laughs> well, you're, you're trying to say you're not a very intelligent human being. You're trying to say that in 1492, yes, when the Europeans came over. They had advanced technology. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and yeah. I'm saying and I'm saying that is not true. Uh huh. Well, and I'm, yeah. and I'm, and that's and, why I'm laughing at you. You can't make that statement until like 1880. Uh, you see what the what the Native American burial grounds actually are are uh, the, the, the the their storage units for nuclear warheads. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The His, fucking enigma, man. Places. The fact that you're laughing at the fact that I say that's not true is an example of uh -huh. your. White supremacist of Dr. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. You know, the, like, like the printing press, eh? Gutenberg, like, the fucking printing press. Like, like, like um, the, the um, the, you're like my professor at um, my philosophy professor who yeah, Mathematica Principia. <laughs> you know, like Newton. Uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure. You know, what's who? You know, which native scholar was it that uh, you know uh, laid down the groundwork for for gravity? Which which native scholar was that? <clears throat> yeah, it's a, you know sorry, it's a, you know I I you know it's not a, exactly a fair question, obviously, because there is no fucking answer for it, is there? Because it didn't goddamn happen, and it illustrates the point that it makes, doesn't it? This would say, you know, what about like Faraday and fucking? You know, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, Maxwell? Okay, the fucking you know electromagnet. Are you fucking kidding me? Why was Pompey on looking for the Fountain of Youth when we <laughs> were taking Pompey Leon? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't realize the Fountain of Youth didn't actually exist, right? Yeah, he, I know. <laughs> Native Americans understood that. You know. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, you know, I wonder. Fucking pulling their, you know, the, you know, what about the fucking native guy pulling his thumb out of his ass and fucking sticking it in his mouth? Okay, I don't, I don't know what that is. So the thing is, is that Native Americans understood through technology that they were taking the right vitamins and the right pharmaceuticals, the right medications, intravenously interjecting themselves with medications. The Europeans had no concept of this. Instead, they went looking for a fountain of youth. Uh, and this is a good analogy. This is a good analogy of your yeah, stained glass windows, man. Look at the fucking churches. Look at the fucking architecture and shit. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. Where's where's the fucking? Where are the archaeological digs on the fucking architectural history of the, the native of South America? Okay, what what do you know? What, so what you is, never see the mountain were destroyed. What? What happens? You know, they're still there. Christ speaks. Listen to me, okay? The goddamn Homo erectus were building fucking fucking buildings, okay? <laughs> you know, not all that fucking far behind the advancement of the native people here. Okay. We're talking Homo erectus. Not aware that not aware that species of humans. You can Google. You're just a um a, a white bigot, dude. That's all you are. No, dude. I'm not a fucking bigot. Okay, I, I, I acknowledge. Like you're one of the biggest bigots. I prefer 
a blister bigot. You're, you're, you're more destructive. I acknowledge that there was, you know, some development. Sure, absolutely. And there's, you know, I, I'm not taking away from that. I, I've told you that I don't know how many times. No, the thing is, you are taking away from it because okay, you've got to be careful not to overstep the advantage. Look, you were trying, you trying to say that the Native were fucking more advanced than the fucking Europeans, okay? It's ludicrous. Absolutely no, fucking ludicrous. You need to I check. Let me tell you something. Okay? You've gone too far. You've gone too far, buddy. You just went too far. Buddy. Do you think that Native American farming technology was more advanced than Europeans? No. You don't? No. Okay. So what about uh, the domestication of animals? What do you think of that? Um, definitely not. So you think the domestication of animals is as part of advanced technology? Oh, I, was, I think the domestication of animals is what actually led to this white supremacy that you're talking okay. about. So here's the thing. Native Americans would never, ever, ever treat an animal in such a disgusting way that the Europeans have. Uh -huh. They would never treat an animal. They never had to because they had way more advanced ways of collecting meat and harvesting meat and food than domesticating animals like that. Uh-huh. And the thing is, is that we found the European way of domesticating animals and treating land to be ex ex extremely savage. Yeah, when fucking cat milkers. Came man. Over, they didn't know how to plant shit. The Irish were starving. If it wasn't for the Native American potato in the Andes, oh, all of Ireland would have starved. And none of them knew how to eat it. They didn't know how to plant it. Crack? They had to have the Native American. Potato. It was a goddamn potato famine. You fucking idiots! No, potato famine. No, 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 no. But look, my search, my search, the Irish my search. Starving. David does have a point here that the, the potato itself is native to the Americas. Yeah. Well, yes. Yes. It I'm not imported I, from. Yes. No. But he's misrepresenting. Okay. The Irish fucking starving. Okay. Was because of a potato goddamn famine. The, the potato famine. The and, and, and that's why they came to America because of the famine. Yeah. The reason why they called the potato famine is because the potato saved them. No, they actually, no, they didn't. They moved to America because there was a famine. The Irish moved to America. The potato from North America saved the Irish from famine. That's why they call it the potato famine. Jesus. Look it up. Yeah. Potato. Here's what David means. I think what David is saying is that before Speaking potatoes of were potatoes. imported to Ireland, they didn't have shit to eat. Didn't have no, nothing. Didn't I nothing. think there was an actual disturbing similarity between a potato and this man's brain. The thing is, is the potato is a form of technology. The way to grow the potato. Okay, what the fuck? What the fuck? And, and the thing is, is that when the pilgrims... Actually, called, you could take a potato and make a battery out of it. <laughs> yeah, thing. but... Hold on, think. The thing is... Okay, that's the only thing I can think he's talking about. Hold on, the thing is, is that... We don't want to listen to any white supremacists here, so shut the fuck up. the pilgrims up. came over... Oh, my, my, my bad, koala bear. He had, to, <laughs> he had to teach him how to plant everything. They didn't have advanced farming techniques like the Native Americans had. Right? And if it wasn't for employing these advanced farming techniques, half of Europe would have died. They wouldn't have learned, and they learned it from the Native Americans. Right? This is Native American technology that's not being credited for. Right? There's a really good book called Technology, The Potato. The potato, potato and the corn and the, the way of farming and cropping. And let me tell you another thing. Native Americans, instead of domesticating animal, they would sit there and they would take a large field of grass and they would burn it down completely. And then after a month, the grass would grow back. And yeah, but the Native Americans, they, they used to be horses there and the Native Americans ate all the horses too. Look it up. That's not true. So the native, so the Native Americans, when that shit burnt down, the, the when the grass burnt down, it would grow back, and the animals, the like deer and rabbit, and well, it's true because they actually had to import horses back into into the America up North yeah. America because uh, the Indians ate the fuckers. Uh, the natives would easily pick off these animals that ate along the fringe of these grasses. There was no need to domesticate them. They would have never treated the land. They would never have treated the animals in such a despicable way. Oh, yeah, they, ne they never owned slaves either. They would have never treated the animals like that. 
Well, they never owned slaves either, right, David? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Slaves. Yeah, they had slaves. Yeah. yeah Native, Native Americans never had slaves. Yeah. They, they, used, they used to go to the other other tribes well, well, and kidnap well, well, people, I mean, didn't they? Well, I mean, remember, guys, remember, guys. I mean, they, they were themselves slaves. That the, the, the Native Americans were the original tribe from Israel. Can't forget that. Well, that's not true. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. You're getting the Hebrew Israelites in this thing. Okay, you can get me lost. By the way, the, the uh, Great Famine was caused by a, the failure of the potato crop. That's a lot of Spartan esque sort of thing. It, it, it was caused by a disease that killed the potatoes. Right. <laughs> yeah. it was an, it, there was an invasion of little pathogens. But the, 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 the potato is what saved the Irish, though. Is what you can't you can't think, and it came from the Andes Mountains, and that technology that the Irish hey, Jesus Christ, dude. Do you know what the word technology is? Yeah. The technology it, used to develop this, the this fucking the fucking tree is not technology. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's well, it's somewhat, yeah. somewhat, 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 yeah. somewhat. Um, is is um, through through plant husbandry? You, say, you uh, could say you could say a tree is like a machine wait a second. more than technology because that, what do you call it? What is what is what is uh, what genetically modified GMOs is it technology? Yes. Okay. Shut up. That's that's different. It's it's different. It's totally different. It's totally different. GMOs. Well, you know, they're, they're actually they, they they actually manipulate the genetic fucking. The Native Americans were the first people in the world who ever genetically modified food. No, no, no. Yes, this, they are the Native Americans are different. different. No, okay, no, 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 no. They also were the first to go to the moon too. Listen to me, okay. Listen, David. Do you know where oats and wheat comes from? Do you know where from the middle fucking east? You know corn. Okay. Wow. The, the, the start the domestication of plants okay pre-existed the domestication of animals not by a whole hell of a lot okay this is the dawn of dawn of man the dawn of civilization was born off of the, the birth of fucking agriculture it's called the, listen listen it's called the fucking agricultural revolution okay years foods we're talking 20 fucking thousand years ago okay what about your history dude you know much about the world Oh, except, to, yeah. except it comes from the fucking university textbook called History of Civilization. Okay. <laughs> I come from a background than you. Like, the people in my family are doctors. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh huh. Well, but, but you're, cool story, bro. you're not. You know, it's, uh, that's, in fact, that's what led to, like I say, this is what, 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 you know, um, and, and coincidentally, this actually comes from an American professor. Okay. This American professor, his, he was a hobbyist bird watcher and he used to go to Borneo a lot. Okay. And the natives there, uh, he had a guide. Okay. And, you know, he was friends with the guy because he'd go year after year after year. And then one year he shows up. Okay. And the native guy is fucking mad. He comes around and he and he storms up to him, and he he asks he po puts a question to him. He says, "Why does white man have so much cargo?" Okay, that question. Why why are the fucking whites superior on the planet? Why are they so fucking developed and and technologically progressed? Okay, that's and you know and the the the, you know, the American professor he didn't quite know how to handle it. Okay, because he wants to explain things. He wants to tell the truth. He wants to fucking be level with the guy. You know, and it bothered him. Okay, so he produced a documentary because he spent years on this to answer that very fucking question. And that's exactly what we're talking about right goddamn now. And, you know, the answer that he came up with was geo, geo, geographic fucking luck, really. Okay, because the Caucasian people, okay, came out of fucking Africa into, a, into an area that had plants and animals that were domesticatable. Okay, the plants in particular, oats, wheat. Less garlic. danger. Okay, fucking olives. Olives were a big fucking thing too. You know, the Greeks, the Greeks had fucking, you know, like orchards. They had olive orchards like crazy. Okay. And and you're trying to argue, you're trying to tell me like this this is you know, and, and it did happen. Yes, the fucking uh, you know, the reason why the fucking the Inca uh, and the uh, were were you know so so widespread in that is because yes, they had fucking like agriculture too. 
You know, in fact, they had socialism, <laughs> believe it or not. They had, uh, you know, uh, community projects and, uh, you know, they had storage, okay, where you could just go and get fucking food. It was corn, okay? You know, of course, it, it you know, it, it reduced their lifespan, but it increased their population like crazy, right? So anyway, now, you know, as, as the, the Caucasians left Africa, they were able to, you know, settle and domesticate the plants and fucking animals there, okay? And, and that's what yeah. led to the birth of the agricultural revolution, which was like this fucking slingshot leap forward, okay, in like evolutionary terms, which led to the dawn of fucking civilization there. Okay, so uh, you calling, uh, like, you're calling no, Mesopotamia no. as the European or what? Well, it's you know it's it, it, it's it's the Fertile Crescent, yeah, Mesopotamia. That's what it's, it is is the birthplace of Western civilization. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. That's isn't that what you know? This is what's in fucking schools. No, I'm, 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 I'm Western is a, is, is a different thing. I'm talking about. Do you think those were white people or what? Dumbass, oh, sir. Dumbass! The only dumbass here is David, by the way. I'm just gonna reiterate one more time. Only dumbass here is David. Any um, public. Um, you, you, any do know that, you, you do know that Middle Eastern are considered Caucasian, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's, the <laughs> thing is, you, you, the Middle Eastern. Caucasian like is a relative like it's a it's a social term like uh -huh. who do you think those people are like yeah. ethnically oh, Egyptians, uh, Egyptians right? are Caucasian okay, okay so now Egyptians are white and like maybe maybe I'm white I don't know but the thing is like when when you say that and when when people say that they don't mean that right so, when you when you talk about white people you don't talk about us or Egyptians or or Middle Eastern you don't talk about them. You talk about specifically northwestern European like people. So here's the thing. Here's why a lack of education. Yeah. My stage is lack of ed educated, but doesn't have very much education. He's not informed. The reason why Arabs are considered Caucasian has to do with social implications, like Brown said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, it's, the, it's due to immigration here in the United States. Exactly. The, 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 the problem like was. Is that and, and the reason why Prouncy knows this is because back in the day it was yeah. Asians. You know how there's a Muslim ban now? There used to be a ban on Asians. And it's, and it's, yeah, yeah. Middle, and when Middle it's, Easterns it's, uh, fought to be regarded as white so that they could enter the US. Yeah, so the Arabs would say, We're white. So they could enter the country because they didn't want to be a. Yeah, exactly. It all has to do with, with America, does it? <laughs> yeah, so that, they didn't want to be a. That's it has exactly to do with immigration. Why, simple. That's exactly why Arab no, look at a Caucasian it's a historical look, thing. Look at it. Look at a. <laughs> you know, skull, you know, America wasn't skull. a which superpower. One looks more like which one looks until more like 1950, right? You know, you know, last year, you're a fucking moron, dude. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, dude, you're a fucking moron. So, so what? What part <laughs> of you saying what? that the United uh, States was not a superpower until 1950? You're fucking moron. You're fucking moron, dude. Proof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my I, I, well, oh my I, well, god! Oh my god! 1899. It took them years of years. 1899. It's the earliest. No, no, no. And then uh, all of the other weapons. World War Two. Well, it required two. everybody else to uh, pretty much. Because we went into a wartime economy. Okay. Previous yeah. to that, uh, the the primary superpowers were. Well, you know, is is uh, England and France? Okay, Shut up, dumbass. Before that was Spain. Shut up, dumbass! <laughs> oh, you have no goddamn clue. Go to school. It's so, Go to it's school. so funny when two people with not this personality thought it's so large. It's funny. I have okay. more education than you do. <laughs> no, you, you don't, don't understand, sir. Do David's got three bachelor's degrees and I one have, one one yeah, master's one master's degree. degree. He doesn't even have he's associate. Got, I'm just gonna yeah, say and, and, and a master's degree of being a fucking bachelor. And, and he's got a uh, he's got an MBA, but it's still in the mail. It's coming. Still in the mail. Yeah. He does not have master's degree. He doesn't even have associate's degree. Yeah, yeah. MBA I mean, have, major have, major yeah. bullshitter accreditation. So I have more education than you do. Sorry, yeah, I'm not. It's kind of, uh, Guys, fucking slurring for Christ's sake! Are you you drunk? Are you drunk? You're drunk, right? Oh, dude, I have more education than you. Sorry, I don't drink. 
well, you know, the good because uh, you know I don't think you, you know, it would serve you very well. You're you're fucking under, you know, hard enough. Well, dude, I, I say that you try to tell me to go back to school and I have more education than you, so maybe you're the one. I'm like, telling you, go to school. Fuck, period. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't believe you know, back to school. Okay. Well, I'm sorry on behalf of all Americans because our school <laughs> system sucks. You're not American. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking back. Oh boy. Mm. And you were calling. And you were ca wait, wait. And you were calling other people racist, David. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying that the like white supremacy. Like I'm saying that like this guy has learned. But you said Bronx was American. Oh, you know, from from like, supremacist point of view. That's what I mean. You just, you you just said you, like you, laughed, you laughed and said Bronzy was an American. What? Look, it's the fucking it's the reality of the fucking world, man. Okay, like I'm sorry, you know, you want me to, to apologize because my skin is fucking white? Well, but I want you to acknowledge that your indoctrination cut from I know. It's not an indoctrination fucking nation. It's a fucking education. It's it's yeah, right. the world that we live in. Right, whatever. You know? <laughs> It would be a lie to say that right now, uh, that in the most recent history, Europeans uh, have made technological advancement more than anybody else has. Yeah. Well, since we are bouncing back, maybe other people are surpassing them now. But I mean, hey, we came out of the dark ages quite some time ago. Yeah. And, yeah, and even the dark ages, one that just goes to show you know, you know what a what a bane religion is. Right, you know, because you know that was that was the, you know it was fucking church, goddamn Christian. I, I think America is going back into dark ages due to our bad educational system. Mm. An argument can be made. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know, let's let's hope but, not. But I but I actually agree with David that uh, a lot of people. I'm not saying like Serge did it. I don't think like Serge was saying what he thought he was, what David thought he was saying, yeah. but. Um, a lot of people do, you know, dismiss statements of anybody else and, and try to, to play everything as, like, they what, you know, there are some people who have said in front of, like, I've heard them, that if you say Neil deGrasse Tyson, like, nobody would mention race, but then there would be a fucking crazy nut who would say, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, they did a research and oh. everyone who oh, yeah. was smart I'm was white and this way. That shit hurts, and where the fuck has gone? Oh, where was it? So you're gonna argue for us? I don't know what he's doing. He's interrupting and being rude. He is called audio trolling. Whatever you want to call it, it's just rude. You know, it's like you know, it's you know. I think I think um, you know David might be under the false impression that I feel some sort of uh, personal. Um, no, it's not know, right. Right. It's the thing. Like, because I'm white. That uh, oh, right here. I, I I don't have a tribal mentality. I'm I'm an individual. <laughs> okay, you know I I don't have this. Uh, I don't think in group. There's it is it is, it is, it's you know it's called in group or out group mentality and stuff. And uh, you know, to me, my mentality is inclusive. Okay, there's only one group, and we are all human, right? Um, you know, and and I, I share as much pride. Like that's is, you know, it's about pride. Okay, as I, I'm not, <laughs> I, you know, who who the fuck is proud to be? You know, and, and I, it is a problem. Like you know, for some people are some people are like white pride and white power. <laughs> well, why are you proud of uh, achievements like, of other fuck? people of your skin color? Yeah. Or your country, like what? What did you do? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, I'm just one guy, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't uh, hold any claim to uh, you yeah. know uh, people with similar. <laughs> right. well, you say that, it's kind of very confusing. So it, you say you don't have all the answers. I gotta be quiet. You get on people for not believing in God, meaning they do not have their own answers. No, no, I didn't get on nobody. Yeah, I was everybody's mind. Well, David, I, I actually kind of uh, understand what you're saying, where you're coming from, but I don't think that's what was happening with, with like what Lysurge Serge was saying. Yeah, I do because, because Lysurge, Serge, like I hear black people. Oh. Hold on a second. I hear black people talk about things from a white supremacist perspective, and I sit there and I look at them and I'm like, where did, where the, where the fuck did you hear that? Yeah. You know? 
and it's repeated um, through social media. It's repeated through channels like even the president says it. Um, politicians, you have right wing um, paid media sources like. Uh, I'm not saying people don't do this. I'm saying he was not doing that. Yeah, I, and I wasn't. Look, it was David's. David's just you know it's a defense mechanism, okay? Because he I'm went. Saying, I think he, you misunderstood me. He went too no. far, okay, by trying to that, say like, that, that people native are, people are as or more developed technologically than Europeans, which is people are college. People and are, I apologize that I fucking laughed at you over that, okay? But you gotta that you, people aren't taught that Native American technology, people are taught about Native American history. Pe the way Native Americans are disregarded and dismissed in this society is sick and despicable. And the fact that you don't acknowledge that, the fact that you don't acknowledge that, and the fact that you're unknown. No, are you kidding? Listen, David, David, David listen, listen, listen. To learn about Native American influences and perspectives. David, people. David, David, listen to me. We had a public service announcement, okay, filmed, uh, you know, about the residential schools and all that right here on our property. Yeah. Okay. Shows. It shows. It shows. Yeah. It's it's called the, the Cheney Wenjack Heritage Minute. It's on YouTube. I can go give you the link. You can see my fucking backyard if you want. Okay, dude. I, okay, that, film right here. I, that's a big part of your indoctrination. What are you talking about? Talking oh, about you, that. You, you just lost. Yeah. When did he say that the natives did not contribute to it? Like, the fuck is wrong with you, David? One thing is that Native Americans were shit. I'm extremely sympathetic. It was fucking genocide. But the thing yeah. is, is that what you don't understand yourself? It's and it's still going yeah. on. Anyway. Did you listen? Listen, did you know that the highest fucking suicide rate on the planet is in native reservations? Yes, okay, which is which is absolutely inexcusable. Listen, okay, the native people, you know, as far as you know, uh, you know, a class of people, okay, if one should be over another, you know, the native people should be held in, in absolute high esteem. Okay, and, and, and sympathy, okay, over the fucking history of, uh, you know, like injustice and shit that has been perpetrated against them. You know, I watched tons of documentaries. There's one documentary, uh, you know, uh, in, in, from Quebec, okay, okay, where, listen to this, okay, the, the native people, the, the one woman, they've, they've started legal actions and stuff, okay, and one of the things that she said is not a single one of the land agreements okay, would hold up in, in a court of law today, okay, the duress, the, the, what they did, okay, what the, what the Europeans did to the natives, okay, first of all, they move in, they start settling, okay, there's, there's, you know, things, you know, it's, it's not, it's not one way or the other, it's a mix of both, okay, there's, there's some friendship, there's some hostility and shit, okay, now, now the Europeans, they're interested in exploiting the natural resource, Okay, so they're trapping and stuff. Okay, well, the native people fucking rely on that for their their, their means, okay, they, to eat, to survive. Okay, and now the pressure from the Europeans settling, okay, and looking to make money and profit and get fucking rich by sending this shit back to Europe, okay, now now it's it put them into fucking hard times. The natives, you know, they go out to hunt and there's fuck all there. Okay, so they start starving. Well, hey, here comes the fucking Europeans. Hey, we're gonna help you out. We're your best friend. Hey, we'll you know we'll give you some candy. They were literally giving candies to the fucking native kids and stuff. Okay, right to uh, you know to grease those palms. And the chiefs, the chiefs didn't want to fucking sign these deals. They didn't want to, but they had no fucking choice because their people were starving. Right, and what are they gonna do? Let their people fucking starve? What kind of a chief is that? Okay, and then then what do the Europeans do? Oh, here, have a drink. They get the fucking they get the chief liquored up. They they get him liquored up, and it's like, oh, here you go, sign this fucking thing. They, you think he knows what he's fucking signing? You think he knows what he's signing? You know, he's you know sort of okay. He knows it's wrong, but you fucking you fucking weasel him. You 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 shoehorn him into that position. It's called exploitation. He, yeah, he's absolutely exploited. Okay, and he'll fucking sign these land deals. You know, and that's, you know, and, uh, you know, this, all this shit, it's still, it's, we're working it out. We're working it out. So anyway, you know, see, I mean, uh, like Serge, I will just say that never watch Prager U videos on this because they just, uh, what they did is like, is laughable yet offensive. 
It's yeah, it's not a university. It's Prager is. I don't know how that place even gets carried. Yeah, no, they they lied about the whole history. Like they said that when uh, Europeans were coming, uh, natives didn't want them there. When that didn't happen, it's not that they didn't want them there. Yeah, but they're using all the my uh, ethno nationalist point of views. Like, uh, oh, I just want to preserve our uh, race and and like they're seeing all this shit thing. Like it's just so funny. Yeah, because it's so ignorant, but at the same time, you're like, "What the fuck is propaganda?" Like, what if someone believes it? Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, like I was saying about this this documentary I saw in Quebec. You know, the the one woman, you know, she's the legal secretary for uh, you know, I forget, I don't know if it was Mohawk, Algonquin, or what native, you know, uh, you know, population she represents or or part of. But uh, uh, you know, that's the one thing I remember distinctly as she said is not a single one like after analyzing and looking at the contracts you know the land deals that were signed and everything like that not not one of them would would be considered a valid contract in by today's legal standards in a court of law yeah not not even one and and she's probably right yeah she's probably right but right? come on like in canada you're not even giving clean water to these people so i mean really Yeah. You know, because, uh, you know, technically, like, like, who owns the land in this? Like, I even looked into that. I saw another documentary, like, you know, by, by what uh, authority um, do our nations even hold? Um, you know, like credibility and power or what, like, you know, as far as, uh, you know, the land, <laughs> like what, you know, the title, title to the land. And uh, the way it worked was the Europeans come over and they'd, they'd put stones down, right? They'd put down these marking stones. Okay. You put down the marking stone as it's laying claim. All right. And these, these stones are still, they're all over the, they're all over the U S right. They're still there. You can go look at them. <laughs> okay. They're, they've been there for like 400 years. Okay, they're from the the original, you know, the the French and the Spanish, right? They they go and uh, you know they send the explorers out and they they uh, they stake it out. You know, we've been here, it's like putting down a flag. So this is our claim. We lay claim. And it's like, well, hey, you know, I'm sorry, okay, but some dude, you know, some dude comes on my property, puts down a fucking stone, and says, hey, I'm laying claim to this. I'm like, it's like, well, excuse me, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of already here. Hello. 